Hello, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk, and here I am with the LG Google Nexus 5. Um, if you saw our earlier video of the Nexus 5, um, we did run a quick benchmark using Quadrant, um, but we've got some rather inconsistent results. It's very much inconsistent in terms of what we know the specification and the performance uh, should be. So, uh, nevertheless, we thought we'd come back. Uh, we'll run an Antutu benchmark instead. Um, just by way of comparison and uh, we'll go ahead and run that right now. Um, I think part of the reason that we are seeing these inconsistent results um, is because uh, it's because we are Android 4.4 uh, um, and uh, I'll say Quadrant is obviously having some issues with running these benchmarks um, because the results are coming out with completely inconsistent numbers in terms of what we would expect uh, with the 2.26 quad-core processor with 2 gig of RAM we're getting benchmark scores of around 7 or 8 thousand mark we would expect something you know, realistically about 3 or 4 times higher than that so and 2.2 we're going to see if we get a more consistent result in terms of what we're expecting and uh, see what our results come out to be let's pop that down on the table there a wee bit. Left hand with it. You guys see the benchmark running. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, grab the score from the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which has a similar specification in terms of the processor and uh, amount of RAM, and see what our benchmarks come out at in comparison. Really recap on the specification while the benchmark is running. So, uh, Nexus 5 has a full HD display, 1080 by 1920 pixels. It's an IPS display, uh, Corning Gorilla Glass on the front there, and is a full multi-touch supporting all 10-finger touch uh, touchscreen options. And it is a true HD IPS display. It's a really gorgeous display actually. Uh, we have two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gig of internal uh, ROM, uh, internal storage on this one. 32 gigabyte model is available and we have a Snapdragon 800 processor running at uh, 2.26 gigahertz, so it's a quad core processor and Android OS 4.4 KitKat that benchmarks are close to being finished really And there we go. So once again we've got a score that's down here in comparison to the Note 3 and the S4 which again seems somewhat inconsistent. Perhaps something to do with uh, the fact that we've got Android 4.4 uh, which may not, uh, the benchmark tools may not have been updated to um, fully make best use of uh, KitKat. But uh, nevertheless that's our result.